Newton, Lavoisier, Darwin. What do they all have in common? All these science geniuses came from wealthy families. But Faraday, a working-class child, not only joined that highly select private club, but also unraveled one of science's all-time greatest mysteries. Born in a humble family, Michael Faraday experienced the hardships of the 19th century English society. Working at a bookshop, he taught himself science through the books he read. He also managed to go to Humphrey Davies' lectures about chemistry and electricity and was dazzled by them. He wrote a book that summarized the lectures. Davy was amazed and took Faraday on as a lab assistant who assisted him on his trips, where he met other scientists. That's how he learned about magnetism and the ongoing discussion about its relationship with electricity. Scientists imagined them as different fluids moving through the air and wires with no relation between them. Until Ersted discovered that current passing through a wire moved a nearby compass. Electricity and magnetism were then connected somehow. By this time, Davy had suffered an accident. And then Faraday could do his own experiments. Trying to explain Ersted's results, Faraday thought that, the same as vibrations of sound fly through the air, making objects vibrate, then maybe electricity wasn't a fluid, but a sort of vibration carried through the air as magnetism. So he designed an experiment. He took an iron ring, isolated it, and wound two coils on the extremes. Connecting one to a battery, he saw that switching it produced an electrical current on the other. Faraday deduced that the coil emitted magnetic vibrations that travelled through the ring, inducing electricity on the second wire. But if changing the magnetic vibrations caused the second current, why not use a magnet directly? He moved a magnet through the second coil and it generated electric current. Faraday discovered magnetic induction and in 1831 using it, constructed the first dynamo ever, a way to convert movement into electricity. This popularized electricity, democratizing its use and making it possible to be available everywhere.